and welcome to another edition of winemastery.co.uk. We're here to tell you all about wine and help you find the wine or the wines that you love. So, my name is John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And as I said, we're on episode number, I didn't tell you, but I'm about to tell you now. <laughs> we're on episode 39, this is part three. We're looking at the sweet white wines and we're into the wild card. We are. <laughs> <laughs> you little pet. <laughs> yes, yeah, so well, we've done the muscats, uh, so I thought we'd throw something in, which I haven't tried for a very long time, so I thought it'd just be interesting to have a go at. Okay. Uh, and we're back in France, and it's something called, it, well, the grape is the Petit Mensing. Mensing? That Mensing. sounds almost Chinese. It does, it's not. It's, it's French. Not. It's French. French. Well, it, well, I might have not even be might. pronouncing that correctly, well, so. It could have originated in China. Quite possibly, John. Quite possibly. <laughs> There you go, right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank no, you. you are more than welcome. More than welcome. Oh, this is a more golden colour, more like number one. Than it, yes, perhaps, perhaps even deeper than number one. Yeah, in terms that, of colour. that gold really does come through on that, doesn't it? Really, really yellow gold, but again, nice and bright, which what we want to see. Yep, not dull. It's always calling out to you. Drink me, drink, drink me. me. But let's have a little smell. Hmm. Hmm. That is different. Again, it is different. Maybe it's different grape, but. You can still smell the sweetness there, of course, but yeah, I, that's rather than the honey. That smells more treacly in a nice way. Yeah, I d you're def definitely right. It, it, it smells kind of richer in that kind of treacle where we had uh, uh, that honey. Yeah, we really did have that honey, nice and nice and nice and fresh, but also quite floral. This is just really quite rich with that. I said that yeah. treacle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm, 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 okay. I'm, okay. I think I was talking to the wine. Oh, okay, okay. I think I was. Right, okay. 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 I'm going to get stuck in with that one straight okay. away. Yeah, exactly. Go for it. I am, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like a. Mmm. That was strange. Mm. When I first, first took, uh, put, it, put it the. Uh, with a mouthful. Go on, <laughs> the first, I thought, I'm not sure I like this taste, and then that lasted for like half a second. Mm. Wow, this is nice. So the first, the first taste wasn't as familiar. What you expect, right? And then yeah, yeah, and then it wow, developed. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, it's got um, for me, it's, it, it, it's how could it? Wow, well, it's a big boy. <laughs> it's a big boy. <laughs> I think this is more kind of in your face, not quite as subtle. As we had with with the with the, with the muscat there, more subtle and kind of light and easy and kind of played around, nice and rich. But this is kind of just getting straight to the point. This is yeah. Um, the sweetness is there and the acidity is there as well. So it's still not that kind of one of those cloyy kind of hang around forever kind of thing. But it's a nice um, length on there. It's definitely more kind of pineapple. It's got there's a definite right. pineapple flavour there. In fact, yeah. you know, even so much as. Yeah, those yeah. sweeties, remember those pineapple cubes? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know those? Yeah, 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 yeah. But not yeah. eucalyptus. They even had them in my day. That's a, it is very different, um, but it's strange that it's very different, but oh, very similar, if you know what I mean. It's got the... Yeah, know. I mean, yeah, uh, having, before we started this, I would have, I would have said, you know, uh, that means before we started these, uh, these, this this wine channel, I would have just drunk that and thought it's another sweet wine mm. and the other one. But actually, I guess it's the, it is also having the opportunity to do them back to back, back to back massively helps because yeah. often, often you, you'll have a you know a bottle of wine one night and the next evening you might have another bottle depends yeah. who you are, how much you're drinking. But you don't notice the kind of subtle differences. Putting them back to back makes a massive difference. It does make a massive difference. Mm. Yeah, so that means you could have three bottles a night. It easily, <laughs> easily. <laughs> no. no drink responsibly, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, yes, drink. <laughs> but I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm actually quite taken with that one. Yeah, I like it. Mm, I, I like it. I do like, I, I think I prefer that to the honeyed. I did, I did like them more about that, that honey thing. I don't know, it might be too much. This for me, you know, like I said, they, could, they generally come in half bottles because you don't drink as much, but I, could, I bet I could quite happily get through that. For me? Hmm? Still number one is for me the best. Okay. Not for my palate. Oh, that's fine. Uh, and I'm actually struggling for different reasons to say number two or number three. They're actually for me equal. I, I you know, if you're delighted with a glass, right. either of them. So, hmm. uh, yeah. So what are we thinking price-wise there? Okay. So it's back in France. Yes, it's back in France. You've called it a wild card. <laughs> yes, I did. The first one was nine ninety nine. The next one was thirteen ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. So this one. I'm gonna say 
is twelve ninety nine, and you will be spot on. Yay! Spot on. <laughs> 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 you're getting, you're just getting too good at it. I think you should stand at this side next week. Well, that is, that is excellent. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Well, I saw the thinking there as well. Yeah, no. Mm, uh, you're on it. You're on it. Mm, well, excellent. Mm. Well, I finished that. That's delicious. I yeah. might have another glass of that. Well, one. go out, buy yourself uh, a nice bottle of sweet wine, enjoy mm. it with your pudding, or, or as we've just discovered, enjoy mm. it on your own. Yeah, yeah there's, no, there's yeah. no reason you shouldn't. Absolutely, that was delicious. So, um, sadly now, sadly, that is it. That this, is it for this, this episode. episode. But as I said, I reckon we should we'll we'll throw a lot more kind of the sweeter wines in into space and be, in, in the rest of them. Okay, yeah. fine. Well, and do we know where we're going in the world next next time? Next no, episode? Of course no. not. No, why of course would we not. do that? <laughs> I'm sure we'll find something to have a go at. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. In the world of wine, there's mm. always something there's to plenty, go at. There's plenty. plenty to go at. So, until next time, we'll see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs>